Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show how can we upload the Siemens i7-1200 PLC and how can we upgrade the firmware of the PLC. Basically the program upload and the CPU firmware upgrade will be uh, together because it's highly recommend before we do the CPU upgrade, we better upload the program and do a archive, do a backup. So in this video, I will firstly upload the CPU 1200 PLC, and then let's upgrade this CPU. And in this video, the CPU what I'm using, that is a 1214 DC, DC, DC. Basically, all the Siemens 1200 PLC series, they have a similar idea. Okay, to upload the program from 1200 CPU, one important principle, we have to use the same version that time we programmed this uh, CPU. For example, originally we used the TI Portal version 13 program and download to this uh, CPU. So if you try to upload the CPU program, you have to use the version 13. You must use the matched version to upload. And if you use the version 15 TI Portal program and download this CPU, so you have to use the version 15 to upload this CPU. The first question will be, how we can know which TI Portal version download to this CPU? So we need to go online with this CPU, check the TI Portal version that time, which version download to this CPU. So in this case, I will pick one of this TI Portal version and try to connect this CPU first, okay? I will use the highest version so far, TI Portal version 16. Once we open this page, we can shift to the project wheel at the left corner. And then let's expand here, online access. After we expand here, let's pick one channel we are connecting with this CPU. For example, in this case, I'm using the Ethernet cable connecting this CPU. So I will pick my Ethernet card here and expand. Double click this update access devices and then the TI Portal software will browse all the devices this software can connect. Let's double click this update. The software browse this CPU. Here it shows IP address. And then we can expand here. Okay, now it shows this online and the diagnostics. Also here, if we expand here, we can have a quick browse, look at the current program. Okay, we can expand this program blocks and have a quick look and check out the inside blocks inside this CPU. And then we can double click this online and the diagnostic. And from here, we can check out the current firmware and which version TI Portal software programmed this CPU. This is a version 13. And uh, this firmware, this is version 4.1. Okay, that means we have to use the version 13 the software to upload this CPU. And after the upload, we will upgrade this CPU version from version 4.1 to version 4.4. Currently, I'm using the version 16. If I create a new project, and try to upload, let's see what will happen. Okay, so we online this CPU now. And now let's click this project and click this upload, upload from device. Okay, here that is the problem because now I'm using the version 16, but the CPU inside that version 13 TI Portal programmed this CPU. So even I'm using the higher version, but it doesn't work. We have to use the matched version to upload this CPU. So now I'm using the version 16. So I have to shift to TI Portal version 13. All right, uh, I can close this uh, TI Portal. And fortunately I have a TI Portal version 13. And I will use TI Portal version 13 to upload this uh, CPU. That is a matched version. Okay, add a new project. Okay, this project I named version 13 underscore upload. Add a new device. And from the previous step, we know the unspecified CPU is version, that is a version 4.1. So I will pick the 4.1 here. Okay, let's select the 4.1. 
Okay, after we create this uh, specified CPU, so let's click this detect. Okay, click this uh, start search. And keep in mind, select the correct PCPG interface. Okay, it searched this CPU. Okay, let's do detect. Basically, idea is we will upload the CPU hardware configuration. But keep in mind, this hardware configuration only available as this main rack. Now, this is that CPU hardware. Okay, and now if I click this uh, go online, okay, now we online this CPU. And same idea, let's browse this uh, online access. Okay, from this online, this uh, program blocks, we can see this controller has a uh, multiple function and the function blocks here and the DB here. Okay, now let's go to this project here and we can see this upload from device will be highlighted. Okay, now let's click this upload. It will show the offline project will be override by the online. Okay, that is the upload, right? So we will do this. Okay, click this continue, click this upload. Basically, all those online blocks will upload it to this offline project. Okay, here it shows green, that means online offline program, they match together. So if we expand here, we'll see all the online program uploaded to this offline, this project. Here, I would like to mention one thing. For the TI Portal version 11, so that time, because this is a very initial version, that is a little bit different. So for the TI Portal version 11, you need to drag, you need to drag this online program blocks cover this offline project blocks using this way. But after the TI Portal version 12, basically you need to online the PLC and highlight this project and then upload from this device, click this button that can upload the PLC. Okay, this is upload. Basically the upload can allow us to archive the project. For example, if now I double click the project, so if we go down and browse the PLC tags. If we double click, so all those symbols or tags, they all uploaded. So basically the entire project will be uploaded, okay? And then the next step, we will upgrade this CPU firmware. Probably you would have a question, why we need to upgrade the CPU firmware? So if we go to the support.industry.siemens.com and then you can search the firmware of your CPU number. For example, if I search the firmware i7-1214, so I can browse this page, firmware update for the CPU 1214. And then if we scroll down, and here that is the description of each CPU firmware. For this CPU, a highest version is version 4.4. The key feature at this 4.4 is at OPC UA function. That is a very important feature. And also you can see for each firmware, it upgrades something or solves some bugs behind. And to download this firmware, we can click this button and click this zip and download it. Okay, after I download this file, if we double click this folder, we will see this is the actual firmware we need to upgrade. Okay, how can we upgrade this firmware? We need a TI portal. Okay, come back here. Use this online access. To upgrade this CPU, we do not need create a project. We can directly shift to the project wheel and select this online access and click this online on the diagnostic, this function. For example, I will click here. Once you get this page, this page shows the current firmware and the type. Okay, make sure the firmware file you download that match this article number. Okay, and then let's browse this uh, functions and go to the firmware upgrade. That is a version 4.1 now. And from here, let's browse that firmware file. I will browse this uh, 12, 14, 1 AG 40. Okay, let's double click. You must double check if this article number they match together. 1AG40, okay, 1AG40, okay, click open. All right, now let's click this uh, run update.
This update might take a couple minutes. Meantime, your CPU will shift to stop mode and your maintain will show the yellow indicator. Okay, it shows the firmware version 4.4 was transferred successfully and upgraded successfully. Okay, we click OK. And now the CPU shows stop. Okay, let's click this go online. And keep in mind, during our firmware upgrade, you must guarantee the power supply is good enough. You must guarantee the power stay on. All right, we online this CPU and now let's go online and click this online and the diagnostics. And now it shows this CPU upgrade to the highest version, version 4.4. Okay, and now let's go to this uh, Ethernet IP address. We can see the IP address is still inside the CPU. Okay, also we can see all the program, once we go online, all the programs still match. So that means upgrade this CPU firmware, the program, IP address, hardware configuration, the all inside this CPU. After the upgrade, the only things we just need to restart this CPU. Okay, like this. This is a really good feature. So upgrade the firmware will not wipe out the existing program and IP address. Basically, this upgrade just need to take a couple minutes and some good features and some bugs will be solved. But even this a good feature, personally, I still highly recommend before you do the CPU firmware upgrade, you better upload the program at first. So make sure your program is archived and saved correctly and then upgrade this CPU hardware firmware. And after the program upload, you can archive your project using this way. Save the project at first and then use this archive. Basically, zip this project into a small file. Archive this project and quickly recall the firmware upgrade. Browse the file and upgrade your CPU firmware. All right, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.